and I'm recording right now, so whenever you want to lead in. One, two, three, go. Hey, everyone. Where have we been? Well, I don't know. It's like November. Come on. We're preparing for a feast. And is this an offshoot? It is, because it's only me and the one... Oh, God damn it! I keep doing that. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been so long, I keep stealing it. The America's favorite gamer. San Antonio's chosen son. Not Shawn Michaels, but obsolete 2003. Yo, how's it going? It's a going. It's a going. How is your um, quasi quarantine going? It's it's hanging in there. Not too bad. It's another things are starting to get bad again. So. We're... Oh yeah, Do you your hell on earth text today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got that too. I got that with my friend. And I, I, I kind of have a little bubble. It's it's a decent... I, I don't hang out with a lot of people. I hang out still. It's not good. I wear a mask when I go outside, though. Anyway, I was hanging out with my friend. We are driving downtown, just looking around. And, like, just the masses of people we saw just, like, walking around on Friday night. And then, bang, bang, 900 cases of coronavirus. Like, oh, well, this is great. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking fantastic. Got that too in the middle of grocery shopping. It's like, oh, this is just great. But it's preparing for my feast for this coming Thursday. Oh, shit. What was that? And there's a. You okay? Oh, some damn fest. Uh, there's supposed to be a, a stay at home virtual concert thing that was today but it was at four i completely forgot about it but oh well whatever oh was it it's happening at noon or did it happen earlier in the day it was like at 4 p.m oh i mean can't you go back and watch it i have to double check it should be available i have to look into this but yes um yeah, I got that that message that you're referring to, and it's like, oh shit, this isn't good. But I guess it hasn't been good yet. Oh no, nothing's been good. And well, there's talk, so we'll be getting that vaccine at some point. But I hope sooner than later. <laughs> yeah. I I I miss being outside and not thinking. Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> I miss normalcy, as odd as that sounds. Uh, I miss fucking concerts. I think that's the thing we've said each offshoot. Yeah. Concerts and movies. I want to go back to a fucking draft house. I know. I really want to go back. Uh, but anyway, besides our quarantine nightmare that everyone's been living in, I believe some some hardware has dropped in the realm of Sony and Microsoft. Yes, uh, since the last time we've done our stream and whatnot, uh, the PS5 as well as the Xboxes came out, none of which I've been able to get my hands on. Nor have I. <laughs> but to be honest, looking at them, are we really missing much? I I I feel like I have not been this unaroused by a console generation in a long like ever maybe maybe before when I didn't understand what consoles were or <laughs> generations were but since I know what they are I just I have no interest there's no groundbreaking like peak they have you know done other than faster loading times yeah. To me personally, I don't know if you have a different outlook on. Uh, I've always been a fan of PlayStation, so I'm you know, trying to jump on the PlayStation wagon. Oh, it, it took me a while to get the PS4, and I, I got the PS3. I think almost more or less when it first came out. But I think just with the the bad timing of the 2020, and then just everything falling apart, and I think they have some games, but a lot of games did get pushed back because of covid so it's just like yeah it's kind of like a, at a bad time and not to mention that the majority of the consoles pretty much got bought up by the resellers 
Yeah, a bunch of resellers. All those fucking Autobots. <laughs> Autobots. Not the good kind. Not the good kind. These were Decepticons, but Autobots that bought up the fucking consoles. I mean, I feel like the best one to buy right now it might be um, the Xbox Series S. It's like the cheapest. And you get all those Game Pass games. It's like a machine just for that. Yeah. But like, give it a couple months or a year and fucking PS5, of course. And it's crazy because they said that they're, they're still going to support the PS4, I think, up until 2021 or 2022. And it's like, shit, we're already at the end of 2020. Uh, that's not a whole lot of life left in the PS4. That Sony's like, yeah, that, that's how much more attention we're going to pay to it. So, uh, I mean, t- despite all the bullcrap that happened this year, it went by pretty fast. So, um, the next two years are going to fly by, and if, if like that's the last of it, that Sony's going to like invest in the PS4 and just go from the PS5. We'll probably already work on a PS6. It's just like, I don't know. I I, I still enjoy my PS4. I'm still Gain a lot of bang for my buck with that. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I don't see me getting rid of my PS4. On my PS3, I believe, like, when I first got the PS4, I gave it to my sister and put it in her room, and it was her to watch YouTube and everything on until I think she got Roku or something. Mm. So it still had some use, and every once in a while I'd want to I'd grab it and play, like, some games I want to play on it. Yeah, I mean, I still so, have my two PS3s. Granted, I haven't turned them on in years, but um, I still have them for nostalgia purposes. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I honestly, the PS3 is still a badass console. Yeah, I had the original PS3 where it had like all like the media card slots and you were able to do like this whole server thing with it. And the interface was pretty cool, but then... After that, the PS4, I guess, like, oh, we, we, we put too much product in this. We need to kind of tone it down So Yeah. Um, I don't know. PS4 is... I don't... Again, still, I just don't see the major... Uh, PS5 seems to be 4K. Like, oh, 4K. Did you get a 4K TV, you'll get it. And I'm, I'm still running on a damn 1080p. Old. I've had... I think I've had my TV from when I started college. Which was in late 2012, 2013? That makes me feel weird and thinking about that. Jesus Christ. You ever just look at your hands and see them age? <laughs> they call them fingers, but I never see them fing. Well, there they go. All right. That was Simpsons. <laughs> That's your Simpsons reference for the podcast, folks. There'll probably be more. Don't worry. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, that made me feel old. But anyway, I've had this damn TV. I, I would like, I probably should update. But I don't, I've never felt the urge to or need to. Uh, they say if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It ain't broke. It hasn't broken yet. So, you know, one day, maybe, you know, I move. I, was like, ah, I need a bigger TV now. But okay. again, that's like, seriously, a lot. Are people just buying 4K TVs every year? Or is this 4 I feel like 4K is not even that. Well spread out yet? Well, you're not highly adapted or adopted. I mean, because uh, yeah, it's, uh, not a whole lot is 4K. I mean, some movies, obviously, like the movies are the uh, certain shows and all that, but like regular TV isn't 4K. And um, depending on what you're watching on the internet, that may be 4K. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, you gotta pay extra for that. So you know, yes, but. And also, do you really want to see that in 4K? <laughs> they said, do you really want to see an HD? And people did, so yeah, well, whatever. But, I don't know. I feel like maybe, like you said, I, I've been saying this for the whole pod, all podcast. Within a year's time, see what games are on the PS5. See what see what they're actually doing with the hardware. And I feel like then it'd be a good time to actually jump in. That's for me, at least. Yeah. Um... I don't know. I'll, I'll probably still try and get the PS5 as soon as I can, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Did you see on the PS4, when PS5 launched, PS4 had remote play for PS5? I heard something about that, yeah. 
Yeah, I booted up my PS4 and PS5 launch day. It's like, remote play your PS5 on your PS4. I was like, wait, who is this for? <laughs> what is this about? Why would I ever? But, yeah. That was weird. Yeah. I hear the I hear the DualShock 5 is incredible though. That's what I keep hearing that, that, that that's like the biggest reason to get the PS5 is for the the Dual Sense. Yeah, the Dual Sense. It's a DualShock 5. I'm not calling it your stupid name Sony. But I don't know. Um other than that, again, we haven't played anything. I feel once we do, Obs is probably going to be the first one out of the crew to get in there, give you some honest feedback and opinions. But other than the console wars, I feel like uh, Switch is still winning. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Still staying Kind of got back solid. into it. Solid console, handheld, plug into your TV, boom, it's on your TV. Play your games whenever, wherever. I stuck this motherfucker in my dash the other, like for the longest time. Charge held for so long. I was like, oh, I have my PS, I have my fucking Switch in here. Let me pull it out. No, oh, let me play some games. I'm gonna break. Oh, this is cool. It's cool. It's just fun. I don't know. I like the Switch. <laughs> yeah. Uh... I don't know, I still have a Switch myself, but I haven't really cracked into it, but I I got a lot of stuff going on right now, but once I get more situated, I'll obviously about bringing out more of the consoles in regards to like the Switch and my PS3s and revisiting them, I think there's still a GameCube that needs to be dusted off. Oh yeah, oh, the GameCube, man. I forgot about the GameCube. The first truly handheld console, because it had a handle. <laughs> yeah. Can do, can do much of it, but you know, it had a handle. You can fucking beat the shit out of somebody with it. Yes. Uh, but other than that, what else has been going on? Oh man, not much. Been just trying to take it easy, trying to stay home, not get the the corona. Um, oh, yeah. The hell have I been watching? Been trying to watch the show called Evil or Evil. Um, that's on Netflix. That's what I've been trying to check out. It's pretty interesting. I think it's worth a check out. Evil? What's it about? Um, one person who's studying to be a priest. It was the, 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 per, the guy who, who played, I think, Luke Cage on the Netflix Marvel show that got canceled. Uh-huh. But he's trying to be a priest, and he's, he's trying to learn how to do certain things. Um, he's basically trying to see if certain cases are uh, supernatural or miracle or things like that. And there's a, another woman who's more of the scientific route, and she, she's trying to see if if a person is like being possessed by a demon or if she's just schizo crazy and whatnot. Yeah. And it, it's the, they're just trying to figure each other out and trying to figure out the, the pros and cons. Like, is this a, a legit supernatural thing, or is there? Um, science or whatever reasoning behind it and there there it has a constantine feel because there is some type of um more power at play where they can persuade people to do, to do bad things i guess mm -hmm. but it, it seems pretty interesting uh, i'm liking it so far what's it on uh netflix oh cool maybe um i don't know what i've been watching i I haven't I haven't been kind of on the road road again. <laughs> and then just watching YouTube. Um fuck, have we seen anything recently on TV? I heard Animaniacs came out. I haven't watched that yet. I think the days of the day it came out. When we record this on November twentieth, twenty twenty. But uh yeah, I haven't watched that. I heard it was good. I don't know. I I I really heard too much. I think I saw a couple things on Twitter and said, like, eh, mm. meh, meh. I'll check it out whenever. Um, what have I? Have we just been working? I've been working. I've been doing things that you shouldn't talk about on a podcast with. Not illegal things, just uh, adult things. <laughs> taxes, people. Taxes. Oh, yeah, you like that. You like that, don't you? 
You like to carry the ones and the decimals. I see you, Mr. Coffee. <laughs> Like I should call more of the people out besides just coffee, uh, but no, um, yeah, honestly, just been working a bunch. Um, apparently, Undertaker is gonna be in Survivor Series. Undertaker is on a fucking he's on the fucking Hot Ones episode, and I'm like, what? Do you know what Hot Ones is? The Wings, or like the is that? Yeah, he's on an episode of Hot Ones, uh, virtually. Like his like interview, I haven't watched it yet, but it's like, oh, that shit was weird. I was, I was, I went down a rabbit hole of watching the shit out of that show for a while, mm-hmm. and then I just kind of fell back out of it. But yeah, it's all it was. It's Undertaker on it. I'm like, what the fuck? Was he all uh, done up in like his Undertaker nope. attire? Or... He's at his house, eating some hot wings. I think he has a, a bandana around his head. About it. But uh. I don't know. I uh, I I wish they took away the facade of the Undertaker earlier in his career. I, I it's, it's going back to I wish Undertaker fucking retired earlier, you know. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. It's just weird because like, is he gonna wrestle at, at fucking Survivor Series? I believe so. I think that's the way they're they're chalking it up. Uh, I think he might be fighting Randy Orton if I was paying attention to any of the the, the clips or headlines. But why? I think that's what they're trying to build that up. I mean, I, don't know, I think Randy Orton's past his prime too. But I don't know. Whatever. I know a legend killer who's somewhat of a legend himself now, so he's gonna kill himself. I don't know. Got a little there. How old's Randy Orton? Randy Orton's not that old, is he? He's, he's like in his there. 20s in 2000, so he's like 30, 40 now? Late 30s? Yeah, that's wrestling years. And I remember seeing different That is wrestling years. He kept getting but... hurt, and he was just made a. He's. Um, yeah. Wrestling years. Yet yeah, we're talking about Undertaker, who's going to wrestle him, who's like fucking pushing, what, 60, 70? <laughs> So I think he's still a little spry compared to Undertaker. Yeah, but I don't know. We'll see how that goes. And if if it seemed like they're gonna send them, send them down the river with that that little documentary they did. But then now I guess he's gonna have one one last battle or whatever. But then it's like, if it's gonna be a title match or what's gonna happen? And if if he wins, then is he gonna? Is it for a belt? I, I don't know. But then I guess is he gonna lose? And so not to have a belt? What, like what's going on here? Yeah, I don't. I mean, uh, so as long as I don't get like a fucking custom Undertaker belt, that'd be terrible. But I don't. I don't know. I I I know Survivor Series is like where the birthplace of the Undertaker. Probably should have been where he died, but you know WrestleMania is money. Yeah. And I don't know. It'll be another once like touring becomes a thing again, and they're going to be having their their matches in uh, the Middle East. I'm pretty sure they'll they'll dust them off again, oh. and oh yeah, you'll fight Goldberg or Gilberg or something. So oh, get do you her. remember? Do you fucking remember uh, that uh, that Middle East? Show? Um, it was about why there was a sumo wrestler there. What? Do you remember they had like a battle royale and there was a random fucking sumo wrestler, like an actual <laughs> sumo wrestler in the battle royale? Do you remember that or not? No. Okay, it, it was one. It was either the second or the third one or the, or the first. One. I think it was the second. Um, they had a fucking a sumo wrestler came out. No explanation, no fucking reason. The fucking announcers were like, "Oh my god, it's bro 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 from from sumo." We're like, what the fuck? And like it just it was weird, and then later on, like maybe months later doing an interview or somehow it leaked that the fucking people who pay for that shit don't watch current product and are probably watching tapes from the seventies and eighties, <laughs> and they're like, "Oh, can we get Yoko Zuno in there?" <laughs> and they didn't have the balls, or they were just like, "This is a lot of money." Don't tell him he's dead. Don't let it slip. So I guess they tried to pull a fast one and just got a fucking real sumo wrestler <laughs> instead of fucking Yokozuna. 
<laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, yeah that? it's real. That's real. Like Vince McMahon's just like. That's just too much money to give up. <laughs> Not even a dead Yokozuna could stop me. So did they just pocket that that money that would have went to Yokozuna or something? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know if those like you know here, you go, man. You get all the money. You get divvy it up. Yeah. Uh, I fucking don't know. It's, but yeah, see, they're... like the Macho Man or like all these other dead wrestlers just kind of start popping up again. It's like what the hell? Yeah, just like bring out the dead. <laughs> <laughs> the Sally Prince wants it, the Sally Prince gets it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Fucking, oh, God. Seeing Undertaker on fucking strings being forced <laughs> to dance. Yeah. Being horrible. But, you know, <laughs> this is fucked up to say. I don't wish the worst upon people. But, you know, we, we have fond memories of Eddie Guerrero. <laughs> he died a little young. Yeah. It's a shame. I don't know, man. I feel like Eddie would be great right now, though. Oh, yeah. He was he was a performer. He, he was, yeah, he was he, a good one, especially before oh, he started. Yeah. And... Damn, he'd be a good like manager or oh, commentary. I'm probably just doing really good work behind the rope, behind the behind the fucking scenes. Damn. I don't know. Undertaker just went in a weird way. He's too yeah. married. He That's... like married the business. That's all he's known or done. Granted, he had a good run, but then. Oh yeah. Um, what's they're saying? I think I forgot what other wrestlers saying. Like he's kind of like like the Madonna of wrestling because like every every like decade or so he he kind of like rebrands himself and like kind of goes through these phases where he's like the dead man and he's the badass and he's like the badass dead man or whatever and he just kind of um uh just yeah still lingers <laughs> yeah badass dead man yeah it's just, it's just a combination of the two <laughs> but yeah yeah he's gonna throw a bandana on and he's gonna have, come out a motorcycle yeah that fucking AJ match I still don't know if I like that thing or not. I'm not too sure. Uh, fucking wrestling. When it's good, it's good, though. When it's yeah. good, it's great. It, yeah. I I haven't even kept up with AEW or anything. It's been a while. I uh, We don't have TV over here. We just watch the Hulu and the Netflix and all that. And... Uh, my sister like loves wrestling, but Hulu has that, which is great. But it's like the day after. But AEW doesn't have. It, 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 I think if I put AEW on there, I'd totally love to catch up on AEW. <laughs> but uh, you know, kind of slacking. I don't know who AEW or them. No. It'd be great though. I I I hear good things about the product. Yeah, well, I. I... Hopefully they'll be around for a while again. They they kind of have deep pockets with the the guy who owns like he, he owns what the Panthers and some other major league team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I've heard everything's going good. It's, I think like I said they're releasing that game. Yeah, they're they're supposed to gain their own video game and um, which looks pretty cool because I think the same people that made. WCW and WRO Revenge and one of the WrestleMania games, um, which I think WCW and WRO Revenge was like the best wrestling game ever with like mechanics, controller wise and all that. But um, hopefully it's a good game because it hasn't haven't been many for a while and oh, I haven't played wrestling games in a while. But I know WWE has been like pumping out shit games lately. Oh my god. <laughs> The last one I bought was 17. <laughs> but I don't remember the last wrestling game that was fucking worth it. Yeah, like, I don't know. Bring the pain? Or like, just bring it? Or here comes the pain? Bring the pain. <laughs> <laughs> here comes the bring it. <laughs> but, uh... I don't know. I don't know why those wrestling games are just better. Like... I, I I don't know. They went to WWE wanted to be sports entertainment, so they wanted to make 
sports games almost, and just like every year is the same game, but less fucking different, better roster, updated roster, and fucking less exhibition matches or match types. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, bugs. Bugs up the ass. There's fucking horrible bugs in those games. Yeah. And like the other ones are so simple. They're easy to play. I just like the controls. They're, they're very easy with, with like the grappling, the fighting, and all that. Especially just flick a joystick and you can do whatever special. And um, Try playing some of the newer ones and they're just like so clunky with trying to do the, the controls and configurations and all that. Yeah. But I don't know. We'll see. And it's trying to stay on top of movies and it's been a while i think the one of the last movies i kind of saw got to watch was the, the that movie called the hunt mm-hmm. and it was, it was pretty cool it was a movie that came out right before covid shut everything down didn't get to see it in the theaters but got to see it recently and it was uh, that that weird like comedy like hunger games thing yeah oh, okay of. i remember i remember that it was like it had some weird like like Trumpy or racism vibe to it in the trailer, at least something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. At a modern twist to like current events, and then it's just kind of um, was silly here and there, but it, it was entertaining. Um, I mind watching it at home, but yeah, as a movie, I probably didn't, wouldn't have paid in the theaters, but I still enjoyed it. Yeah, eh, I. I don't know. I I really want to watch a theater, but I want to go to a theater movie. It's different. It hits different, as the children say. Um, sometimes I'm just you know the movie drags just a little bit of drag, and I'm like oh, I'm a. F-. Yeah. But I think I wanted to watch The Lodge, and like I got halfway through it, and then either. I was like just laying in bed watching it and then napped off or something happened and I didn't finish it. I heard that like I was enjoying it, but then I was like, eh. I yeah. kinda I think I think I kinda saw what was coming and I was like, eh. Yeah, the, the worst prank gone bad or whatever. Yeah, I was like, I think these children are fucking with this lady. Yeah, but to be honest, I, I don't really have any sympathy for the kids. <laughs> yeah. It's like you're gonna mess with someone who came out of a cult, and you're gonna kind of like do this thing and push him over the edge, and it's like, oh, this is a bad idea, children. A very bad idea. <laughs> but maybe you'll learn from this, or probably you won't, because you'll be dead. Well, they learned at the end. It's right yeah. Before, <laughs> right before that gun went off, but <laughs> they they learned today. No, oh, they learned. Yes, but I don't know. But yeah, I I I just fell out of touch with with that. With kind of like music too, just trying to see like what's going on. Just like without just like yeah, hearing. Well, next year everything's gonna blow up with music and all that. But it's just been such a a, a blur right now. I know. Oh man. I don't know. I don't know. I ordered Rob Zombies of. For when it comes out in March, pre-order that shit. Mm. Pre-ordered vinyl, not because I have a record player, not because I'm huge into vinyl. I'm not gonna buy the CD. I have nowhere to put it. I'm not gonna play it anywhere. I'm gonna listen to it on Spotify. So I know I'm gonna dig it. At least I hope I know. I hope it's not Educated Horses. God, that was a bad. That was a weird album. It wasn't bad. It was just weird. Hellbelly Deluxe Two was a somewhat of a bad album. Let's not get into it. But <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm a fan. I've loved the past two albums. I'm pretty sure I'm love this new one. So I was like, yeah, I'll pre-order it. And it has this cool little, you know, how those vinyls are either just jet black, or they have these cool like color like splats almost. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty dope. That splats. So I pre-ordered that thing. Looking forward to it. Well, that's cool. Um, did you grab your? Did you pick out your your turkey yet? We do. We have a tiny little turkey because we still don't know what the family's doing if we're doing anything. Uh, so we have a little tiny little turkey. 
You? Yes, I actually got one earlier today. Uh, not nothing too crazy. The, the local store had um, you buy a ham, you get like a, a turkey, like twelve pounds or less for free. So I kind of took advantage of that. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yes. And I remember seeing there was this um fucking meme online. It was like bringing a deadly disease to people with little to no immunity is a very authentic Thanksgiving reenactment. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like that's oh. perfect. That seems yeah, kind of spot on. It's a very thing. Oh, hello. No, what? Huh? Oh. Oh, no, sorry. Not at my computer. I'm relaxing. But they almost went on fucking sleep mode. I'm still here, though. <laughs> Never mind. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Anywho. <laughs> yeah, no, oh, God. What a, that is an accurate portrayal of Thanksgiving. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, oh, God, I wish we, I wish we could have, I mean, technically, if everyone got tested, really, we could possibly, but kind of asking a lot. I feel yeah. like in our family, it's asking a lot to have a plan on Thanksgiving a week before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, but, I don't know. 2020, stupid COVID. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Stupid COVID. Yeah. Stupid fucking COVID face. I know. I don't know. God, I, I, you know what the thing I hate the most about COVID? What's that? It's like, it, it is, it, it is deadly. It could kill you. It could fuck up your lungs, and it 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 very much, you know, be safe. We all have older people in our, in our lives. We want to make sure they're okay. But also, for some reason, it could also be like, I got COVID. Oh, okay, and I'm fine now. And it's like, God damn it! It's like for every motherfucker who's fine, like a day or two later, everyone else is like, Oh, I'll be fucking fine. So it's like it's good. Like, oh, great, you're okay. But it's also like. That just increases everyone else's like, oh, I can go out and do shit. That'd be good. I don't know. It's just it's a, it's a weird it's a weird balance, and it's been so long. Everyone's just so fucking tired of being inside. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Do your best. Yes. Six feet apart, or you'll be six feet under. Six feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yes, the two big Thanksgiving movies I think that we usually watch are uh, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles and uh, uh, Thanksgiving. And I don't know if you've seen Thanksgiving, but it's it's about a killer turkey that like comes out like every 500 years or something like that. Every 500 years? <laughs> I forgot the lore, but yeah, and yeah. The, the main turkey, it's it's a talking turkey that's like a puppet, a hand puppet. Yeah. And uh it, it's 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 kind of corny. We watch it every year. It's like our tradition and I feel like I've seen I heard the name. I've seen the I've seen the shirt. I don't think I've ever watched the movie though. Oh, it's not a long movie. It's maybe like maybe an hour and 20 minutes tops. But I know for a while it was, it was like free with ads on Voodoo and I don't know. I, I, I don't think we we'd get probably get in trouble try to 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 put on the channel for like the viewing thing. But then um, there's a bit of profanity and some boobs in there, so it's like, oh yeah, I don't think this will fly. <laughs> <laughs> probably, maybe you never know. We could make a small edit. Yeah. Figure it out. In uh, every cuss word, we will have a a an esp jackass sound. Well, he has that little sensor beep now. We could put. Oh, well, he has that sensor beep, or we have that yeah thing he did, <laughs> and that could also be great. Uh, Do you have that on the soundboard? I know you have a few sounds of his. Did you get that one? Yeah, I did. Okay, great. <laughs> great. Try can can we play it now? I know you probably don't have the soundboard up. Do you have? Can you? Uh, give me one second, but I I can. I have it. So stall. stall. Yeah. Hey, yes, are you a fan of... Oh, wait, at the stall. So, people, are you a fan of uh, cold, warm winter nights? Or... 
cold warm winter nights what the fuck are you a fan of cold winter nights cuddling up by the fire well then try our new obs 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 yes obs and ends no odds and ends because you don't want to you don't want to just be by that fire naked unless you got someone there and even if you do got someone there, you gotta take the shirt off. Have some fucking gravitas to the whole mating ritual. And what better shirt to take off than that ain't no baby? <laughs> That's right, that ain't no baby t-shirt. Our fang baby t-shirt from Old Pearsall Road. Order now at the store. I don't know where the link is. Maybe it'll be on the screen. Maybe it'll be in the description. Or if you're not a fan of that, just get the Odds and Ends logo shirt. What's better than the Odds and Ends logo shirt? It's kind of a target if her boobs are big enough. That might be dirty. Sorry. Anyway, S, do you have anything to say? No. All right. <laughs> Check um, Discord. I think S is, is Did you up. play it? Oh, S is booting up. <laughs> S is turning on. Uh, hey, we're powering up S. Yes. Check your, your Discord. Will it come out if I play it? I don't know, but if not, it could be something that's that could be done post-edit. You play it. I think it'll come out if you play it. <laughs> did you? Did you I played it for myself. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Anyway, buy the merch if you can. Yes. If you can't, I don't know. Do we have tips yet? Did we set that up now? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, we do have that only page, but uh, I don't know. Oh, if we do have we do have only fans. It's not nothing's happening with it. But hey, subscribe and maybe I'll do. I'll I'll send the video of my fan. <laughs> yes. All right. Anyway, uh, we got anything else? How we're we doing? This kind of just been relax, but relax fit offshoot. Yeah. Uh, um, I think that's pretty it for now. I, I know that, uh, no, for November we kind of took it easy a little bit just because um, we hit it pretty hard with October and uh... you guys rushed it of October. There was <laughs> so much content coming every day. I feel like the people needed a break. I feel like this is good, you know, recharge. People wanna, you know, people need to get that thirst again for the sweet sweet content probably coming in january because let's face it december also holidays very hectic yes uh we'll see if cyberpunk does decide to come out december 10 12 Cy let's be honest cyberpunk's not coming out the game's a lie <laughs> y'all thought it was a real game think keanu reeves is coming to play video games no it was it was a lie Cyberpunk is a myth. It's a good thing S was in here. <laughs> he would be devastated. <laughs> Cue the soundbite again. Cue the soundbite! <laughs> I don't know if it... I hope you're playing it, because it sounds great on my end. <laughs> but, uh, that's what, that's what post-edit is for. But, yeah. It's... Okay, alright. <laughs> Okay. Uh, anything else? Any last tidbits? Uh, I think that'll be it. Cause like, yeah. So if Cyberpunk comes out, I know S plans on doing a live stream in regards to that. So hopefully it comes out, he gets to take care of that, and I'll eventually get to it. On top of all the other games I've yet to finish, I got back into the original Final Fantasy VII game, not the remake, but the actual original PS1 version. What happened? It wasn't pretty good. I haven't gotten far. I'm, I'm gonna see if I can stick it through. I probably th there's other games I probably should have finished or continued on, but it's like randomly it's like yeah, I'll get into this and yeah. I'm enjoying it. That's cool. Um, I should I should make content. Oh yeah. that fire! I should do it though. I should just fucking drop something randomly. <laughs> we'll see. I'll see what I can record. I'll see what I can do. Look out for maybe something not promising anything. Who knows? Tune in. That's content. Right. Yeah. Tune in. It. Subscribe. Subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. Make sure you're aware when we drop our content. Because, you know, 
What else are you going to do? Watch Joe Rogan's podcast with Dave Chappelle. It was pretty good. You got to wait for like two hours, though, for Chappelle to other do it. Other, I mean, the other guy's really interesting. It's the real rich bitch guy. Mm. He's, a, he's pretty good, but, you know, whatever. Why am I plugging that? <laughs> I, was, I was listening to it earlier. That's mm. pretty cool. Anyway, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Say something in the comments. Maybe we'll, we'll respond. Well, we're going to get flooded with comments. We're not going to say hi. Come on. Say hi. Yeah. But, yeah, I think that's a good stopping point for our offshoot. And, yes, mm-hmm. like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Stay tuned for anything else that we'll pump out in November or uh, get get back into the swing of things in December. I believe we are going to have a movie night sometime in December as well. Pump up the jams. Pump it up. Yes. Um. But, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm Obsolete2003, and I'm here with Nicholas Zombie. That's me. And just in case you forget, we do that so you'd like, comment. And if you're not subscribed and you found this, well, I'm not ass, so I'm not going to continue this nice bullshit. Fucking hit subscribe. What the fuck is wrong with you? You listen to an hour of content and you're like, eh, nah, I'm good. No, fucking hit this button. What are you doing with your life? It's a quarantine. Stop fucking going out. You're fucking ruining it for everybody. You know, I feel like I didn't have enough passion behind that, but you get it. You get the gist. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little late. <laughs> <laughs> but All right. Yes, happy future Turkey Day. Stay safe. All that good stuff. Wear your mask. Keep your mask up. Mask up. Yes. No chin diapers. No chin diapers. It's gross. You look gross. You look stupid. Don't stick your, <laughs> don't stick your nose out the top. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Why are you even wearing it? Why are you even wearing it? Shove your face in the toilet at that point. <laughs> anyway, good night, everyone. Yes. Have a good day. Good night. Settle down. Settle up horizontally? I don't know.